What is up, South Point kids? Hope you're doing well. Y'all are the best. Uh, good news, school's getting out at the end of May. I know you're super excited about that. Hey, we love you, we miss you, praying for you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and as you know, we've been going through the book of Matthew. So here we are, chapter 7. We're just working our way along. Uh, but before we get there, we're going to recap. Jesus is still preaching the Sermon on the Mount, the best sermon ever. We just talked about fasting and how in chapter 6 and how we need to give up something for Him. Then we lay up our treasures in heaven. So are you, you have a choice. Are you working for things of the world or things for heaven? Uh, that's your choice. And then, like, to, don't be anxious. Don't be so worried because He is in control. So put your, your tea up and trust in Him. Trust in the Lord. So we're going to read just six verses to, together today. Matthew chapter 7. So let's read those. Judge not that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Verse 4, Or how can you say to your brother, Let me take the speck out of your eye, when there is the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. So that was Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 through 6. So the big highlight for this is don't judge others without being ready to be judged yourself. Uh, because when you judge somebody, which is the verb of that, the action is when you form an opinion or conclusion about somebody or something before you even know what's actually happening, you are judging them. So do not judge others without being ready to be judged yourself. And our judge that is going to be judging our life, our actions, everything that we've done here on earth is God, the good Lord above. So don't judge others without being ready to be judged yourself is the big highlight for this, this little passage. So let's break that down. Let's explain it a little bit. So we're going to reread verses 3 through 5. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. So we are really quick to judge other people's sin, but slow at dealing with our own. So in, this, in these, these verses, Jesus is using the example, like, hey, you're trying to notice, okay, this person's sin, and it's just a little, he was a carpenter. So you get like the wood shavings in your, in your eyes or something like that. And he's saying you're noticing that little speck, that, that sin, but then you have this, this big old huge sin, and you're trying to judge them about this, this, the small sin, and you're not even thinking about your own sin. Uh, you're judging somebody else, but you have your own problems that you have not dealt with. So in life, and unfortunately, we are really quick to judge others, but slow at dealing with our own sin. Um, and so I'm not saying that you can't help people that are sinning. Like you can help them. You can be there for them. But you need to make sure that your own heart is right. And when your heart is right, that, doesn't, that, that means your heart is right with the Lord. Uh, you want to be aligned with Him. Uh, so that way when you are helping somebody, uh, you're, not, you're not just judging them to judge them. You're just like you're actually wanting to be there to help them. But you cannot do that if you have this big old log in your eye because that's, that's blurring your vision. Uh, and you need to have crystal clear vision. And you can do that when your heart is right with God. And that's when it's best to actually help somebody. So well, like we're quick to judge other people, but slow at dealing with our own sin. So we have to take care of ourselves before in our own sin and our own problems and talk with God about that before we can go tackle somebody else's. So how can you apply this to your life? And ask God for the forgiveness of your own sins. This week, have you gotten a fight with your brother or your sister or your cousin or with your parents? I mean, today is Mother's Day. 
uh, just love on your moms or the motherly figure that you are blessed with uh, and just and ask them for forgiveness if you've sinned against them this week as well but ask God for forgiveness of your own sins and then we need to check your heart uh, before you judge someone so if you're judging just to put somebody down or to beat them up like that's not right that's not with the right intentions um, so check your heart and make sure that you're aligned with the Lord um, before you go check on the speck in somebody else's eye so we're going to respond by this by prayer and I truly want you to ask the Lord for forgiveness of your sins um, that way we can be right with him and have our heart aligned with him and I know I've said that a bunch but man that is so important to help us go through our daily life uh, is when we are just drawing near and close to the Lord and then not just judging people to be mean and to be rude so we're quick to judge the little speck but remember you got to check your own heart and see where you're at uh, in your life so let's go ahead and pray Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for who you are. Uh, we love you. You're the greatest, Lord. We just ask you to, to forgive us of our sins, uh, the things that we know we've done, the things that we don't know that we've done that separated us from your glory, Lord. So thank you for who you are. Thank you for forgiving us. And we just ask you, Lord, to help us um, have our hearts aligned with you in everything that we do. We love you and praise your name. Amen.